Hey guys, it's Steve here. Uh, today is Sunday, November 2nd, 2013. Um, I'm, um, this is going to be one of my opening um, videos. Uh, I'll be opening a lot of uh, pieces here, uh, mostly Hot Wheels. I'm opening um, some uh, Super Treasure Hunt, a couple an RLC car, um, just some various stuff, some Volbars, uh, new um, uh, Retro Entertainment uh, Kenworth from Smoking the Bandit. Um, got some older stuff as well as have the Fast and the Furious uh, Mustang and a Disney's Disney Store Cars um, Hot Rod and uh, Five Pack. Um, and I'll talk about that a little bit later uh, when I open it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna open up some some. Um, all these cars here, um, no particular order. I'm gonna go ahead and open up. Um, let's see, the first one is the Fast and Furious '67 Ford Mustang. Um, as you know, these are very hard, very hard to find in the states. Um, however, they're um, fairly um, uh, easy to find up in Canada, which is where I got these. From. Um, I got a few of these from um, uh, a friend of mine that I've been trading with up in Ottawa. Um, so, finally going to open one of these and add it to my open, um, my loose um, Fast and Furious line. So, here it goes. Um, 67 Mustang. Kind of em emerald green, if you will, color. Pretty cool. Okay. Right. Um, next one I'm gonna open is it's the one of the um, one one of the cars that I got from the H um, the Hot Wheels Club RLC, um, and it's the this particular one is a Series 12 Honky Tonk Hot Rod. Um, a lot of uh, if you look at a lot of the read a lot of the forums, uh, a lot of people either loved or hated this one. Um, I kind of like it myself. Um, this particular one, there's see, there's 4,500 made. Uh, this one is numbered uh, 4144. Um, so I like it. So I'm gonna open up. I have two of these. Um, the other one I have is a real low number. Um, that's why I'm not gonna open that one. And I'm gonna open up uh, this this higher number one. So Funky Tonk Hot Rod. Okay. Um, cool color, Spectra Flame Red. Um, I like how the how the guy's got the he's got his arm outside, um, controlling the the brake and the shifting. Got his hat, um, cowboy hat there. Pretty cool. And the back the back says Longhorn, or L N G H R N. So honky tonk hot rod, right? Um, next piece. Um, this is a, um, a piece that I picked up yesterday at a flea. Was it yesterday, yeah, yesterday at the flea market. Um, it's one. It's um, really the last 2013 treasure hunt, super treasure hunt, excuse me, that I, I needed um, for my open loose set. So um, I'm actually going to go ahead and open this. This is the '69 Camaro. I actually had one of these before. It was an international card, and actually. Um, traded it to, I gave it to a buddy of mine who only collects, he specifically collects international card um, super treasure hunts. And so um, I got this one, I acquired this one from a trade as well, that one as well, excuse me, in the hopes that he would be able to find me just a regular carded one. Um, he never did, so I've been short one of these, um, one of these 69 Camaros. And never never found one in the wild, so finally I just broke down and got it um, from um, from the flea market from one of the vendors that we usually visit, and, um, and he gave me a good price. So I'm glad I can actually add this to my my treasure hunts, my super treasure hunts. Okay, so 69 Camaro. Um, at the end of the video, I'll add this to my case, which I'll show you show you as well. All right. Uh, next piece, uh, another gift from Canada, um, which we have not seen in the States, at least not in retail. 
Um, it's the 75 Ken Kenworth W900. Um, it's from the Smokey and the Bandit movie, of course. So um, definitely um, a nice piece that I've, been, that I've been looking for, very sought after here, at least in the States. Um, very abundant, apparently, in Canada. Um, Ottawa particularly, but not here. So we haven't seen this case yet. So um, unless you get it through a, through a vendor or a dealer. <clears throat> so very excited to open this piece. Um, wow, um, very nice weight. Um, Pretty, pretty, the weight's pretty comparable to the Convoy Customs, such as like the ACDC one and um, the RLC ones. Excuse me, so very nice piece. Okay. Um, I was able to get three of these. So I'll have one um, open, loose here, and um, two carded. Okay? So there's that one. Let's see what else we got. Um, all right. So that was kind of the, the nicer cars. Well, they're all nice, but let's move on to. I um, got a couple of garage pieces here. Um, well, we got this one here. This is the uh, 1966 Dodge A100. Pretty cool. The Van 76 Van. 33 of 34. Okay. These up at our C4 club meet yesterday after K Day. Um, let's move this closer so we get a better picture here. Very nice piece. Nice stance. Very cool. I like this. To about $2. Not a bad deal. Actually, I got two dollars a piece for each of these for this one and the three garage pieces I'm getting ready to show you. So, thanks to Calvin. All right. Next piece is keep moving here. Is the '67? Excuse me, custom '67 Ford Mustang Coupe. Pretty cool. Very nice color. Okay. Uh, custom 67 Ford Mustang Coupe. All right. Next, um, we've got the Volkswagen Beetle. The super wide white walls. Let's go with my VW collection, which I, at the moment, don't have any room to display on my wall, unlike my other stuff, so it goes in um, jammers for now. Okay. Very cool. I like the paint job on this. Nice cherry red. I like the black roof. Not sure about the wheels. I like the wheels. I don't know if I like them on this one, but it'll do. Very cool piece. Okay, and then the final garage piece I have is Corvette C6R. Okay, a lot of these, most of these cars are pretty easy to find. They're not hard to find. Um, I really like the garage um, line. Um, not as big, or um, as far as the amount of cars, not as big as uh, like the Boulevards. Um, about the same quality, if you will. Um, Metal base, metal body, um, real riders. Okay. Get the focus on this one. That'll go with my Corvette collection. Okay. All right. Um, speaking of boulevards, um, this I have three pieces here that I'm ready to open. Um, as I mentioned in previous videos, I'm actually in the process of hopefully uh, finishing up um, both a car full carded and a full loose complete set of the boulevards. Um, this is the twin mill. 
Um, I believe I need, let's see, I have to double check my numbers, but I believe I need about 12 carded um, boulevards, or excuse me, 12 carded, um, yeah, boulevards, and uh, plus another five um, as well. I have to double check those numbers, but um, I'm about, tw about a dozen cars short of the full carded and um, the loose um, sets. So I'll be happy when, when I can finish that. And once I finish that, um, those two sets, then I'm going to do a video on that as well. So hopefully I can get it, um, I can figure out how the, the ore in which they released. Um, since I haven't been collecting very long, um, I'll have to double check that. Uh, and I, I, never, I never really started collecting these uh, boulevards from when they first were released. Uh, Ford Shelby G GR1 concept. Um, I'd say about half of the, the boulevards that I've gotten um, were either through trade or through eBay. Um, and then the half, I, I guess, uh, for the most part, I found um, in a retail. So... Um, very, very great. Uh, uh, one of my favorite um, lines, if you was the only real main line that I've been um, collecting and trying to put it together as far as a full set. That was a nice piece. That's pretty heavy for a small piece. Okay. Alright. And the last boulevard. Um, you know, it's funny. I actually, it's the Volkswagen Type 181. Um, before I start, decided to start, to start collecting, I, I obviously saw a lot of these in retail hanging on the pegs, no, not moving at all. And of course, by the time I decide I, I, I do want to start putting together a set um, and realize I needed this one, I couldn't find it anywhere. So, but uh, I guess that's just the way it goes, right? So that's the Volkswagen Type 181. Okay. All right, um, got a few more pieces left here. Um, we have here, I'm just moving along here, Flying Customs, the 76 Chevy Chevette. Um, this one I actually just found this pat last week. I found it at a Giant Food. So this is, again, uh, as I keep saying, this is part of the, this is included in the final and last case of the Flying Customs. So, pretty cool piece. Okay. Right. The roll, um, the wheelie bar on the back. I don't think it opens. No, it doesn't open. Okay. Um, next is um, is the Superman sixty four Buick Riviera. Um, this is I have. Uh, I have a complete couple complete sets of the Superman from the Kroger. Um, I have been able to, um, but I was short this particular car. Um, this was a little bit harder to find than the other ones. So um, nothing, nothing new or anything like that. Just one that I needed. So this will go to um, with the other my other loose ones. I like the color of the roof on this one. It's a very metallic um, reddish pink. Okay. And that will go... That will go with uh, my loose set, I said, of the Superman cars. Unfortunately, I do not have a um, Phasm chase car yet. Um, most likely, um, at least in our area, I'll never find one, so I'll probably have to, if I really want it, have to um, get it on eBay. Alright, uh, a couple pieces here. Hot one, hot, uh, hot wheels, hot ones. Um, this is an 83 Chevy Silverado. I picked this up at um, our um, flea market as well yesterday. Very nice piece. Focus in here. Apologize. There we go. Silverado. Very nice piece. 
nice and heavy too. Okay. All right, and then the other hot ones uh, I have here is the um, Chevy Blazer 4x4. Okay. Very nice piece, heavy as well. I think actually the Silverado is even heavier than this one, even though this is a little bit bigger. So. Very, pretty cool. Yeah, pretty nice to do a wheel swap on swap, wheel swap on this one with, with some real riders. Okay. All right, down to the last five. Uh, these are some old cars that I found at the flea market probably two or three weeks ago. Um, some old stuff um, and some trades. Um, again, no particular order. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm going to open up a first edition, 99 first edition Ford GT40. Pretty cool, they go with my GT, GT40 and GT's um, cars collection, number 59. Alright, uh, next piece is, I'll save that one for last, next piece is a gold um, 81, it's from 2010, a gold 81 DeLorean DMC12. Actually I have two of these. Got it from the same guy. Um, this is their main line, or the regular one. I do have a slightly um, color variation on the other one, which I'm not going to open. Um, but it's actually, I didn't know until I saw these, that um, that this DeLorean came in different colors. I thought they only came in the, the stainless steel, um, silver, gray, gray color. But um, I found this one as well as a black one. Okay. So very cool. I'm going to assume, let's see back opens up. Yes it does. Just like the other castings. Okay. Why I don't know. Doesn't matter I guess. Alright, um, here's a um, Faster Than Ever Lotus Esprit, part of the Spy Force line. Okay. Not bad. Um, color wise, could have done without the orange window but if I really didn't like it I could always find a different one different color and swap out the color okay very cool and then two more here we got the um, let's see, this is a 2002 first edition, the Celine S7, silver. I do like this silver. About 118 scale, this one is kind of like an orange, burnt orange. Uh, I've seen a couple of these in real life. Very, very nice car. Actually, I've seen a couple of these race at the, um, the uh, one of these I think raced at the Washington D.C. Grand Prix, um, uh, probably about um, 12, 13 years ago. All right, and then the final one I want to show you, um, also a, a Celine S7, um, Race World Speedway 2010. I actually like this one a little bit more than the than the silver one, only because of the decos on it. Um, very cool looking car. So, when in doubt, open the bad boy up. No point in not, no point in enjoying the car if it's going to be carted it up and put in a box. Um, we got room for it. Um, I'm definitely going to find some room in my display case. So, that's cool. Alright. That's a good looking car. I like this one. Maybe I can find a um, find another one and keep that as carded as well. Okay. All right. <clears throat> well, let's go ahead. I'm gonna do the cars one I think in a separate video since we're, I'm making this too long and I want to make go over 20 minutes. 
but um, so basically the two, um, I have a couple cases here um, I'll go ahead and add my 699 Camaro Super to my group of um, Supers that are up there and I'll open Supers and then I have um, my Kenworth that I'll add to my um, the new Kenworth I'll add to my um, the cases at the bottom here which have my retro entertainment in the background okay go along put it next to I guess my minis okay so um, those are my openings I uh, hope you enjoyed it um, you know I would like to do these every now and then just share with you guys it's nice to be able to show you my daily finds um, you know what they look like they're carded but you know a lot of people say especially then I think it goes for most cars that um, you know, you can enjoy them while they're in the cart, while they're in the original packaging, but um, you'd be surprised on how good some of this stuff really looks when you open it. Um, particularly, um, particularly like the Supers, anything with um, really nice paint. So, um, you know, enjoy it. So, um, hope you enjoyed it, and um, happy hunting, and we'll talk to you guys later. All right? Um, I hope to be reporting... Um, you know, do another video soon. Uh, I'm going to do a separate video with with my car's hot rodding set here, but um, hopefully I'll be able to sh uh, share with you some uh, more daily finds in the next uh, few week, um, few days. Excuse me, um, since I'm off, so I'm hoping to do some hunting. All right, uh, have a good one. Talk to you guys later.